Today in our 2010 Nissan Altima, we're going to be installing Kurt's Class 1 1 and a quarter inch trailer hitch receiver, part number C11352. And this is what our hitch is going to look like when it's installed. The cross tube is going to be visible, but it's going to be tucked back pretty far, so you're really only going to notice the receiver sticking out the back. It's a Class 1 1 and a quarter by 1 and a quarter inch receiver, so it's going to be great for all of your light towing needs, from bike racks to cargo carriers and very small trailers. It uses a half inch hitch pin and clip. Now one doesn't come included with the hitch, but you can pick one up here at eTrailer.com. It features plate style safety chain loops with a fairly large opening, so it should accommodate most safety chains. It features a 200 pound tongue weight, and that's the force going down on top of the receiver, and a 2,000 pound gross towing capacity. That's how much you can pull behind it. You do want to verify in your vehicle's owner's manual to be sure that you're not exceeding its towing capacities. The manufacturer does recommend using a tow strap with any non-trailer loads. That's basically anything without wheels. Now I've got some measurements for you to help you when deciding on accessories. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube, it measures about 9 inches. This is important when determining if you need to drop, rise, or raise shank on any of your accessories. Since it is so low, I do recommend getting a raise shank on your accessories. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it measures about 5 inches. This is important when determining if any of your folding accessories can be placed in the upright storage position without contacting the bumper. We'll begin our installation underneath the vehicle by removing both left and right side mufflers. To do this, we're going to need to take the clamps loose on each side using a 15 millimeter socket. We can then use a dead blow hammer to knock the exhaust back until it comes off. We'll do that for both sides. You can then slide your muffler out of the hanger and set it aside. We'll do that with each one. Then on each side, we're going to drill out two rivets to remove the heat shield. We won't be reinstalling the heat shield, and we'll do that on the other side. You'll see two holes located at the bottom of your frame rail. The one towards the front of the vehicle, we're gonna to need to enlarge for our access hole to feed our hardware in. So we're gonna be using a one inch drill bit to enlarge that. We'll now feed our fish wire into the rearmost hole come to the hole that we just enlarged, bring the coil then out through that, slide our spacer on there first, and then thread our carriage bolt on it. We'll then feed our carriage bolt up in there. And use the pull wire to pull it back through the other side. Carefully remove your fish wires, you're gonna need it for the rest of your hardware. Now for the enlarged front hole, we're going to take our fish wire, we're going to put our spacer on it, thread the carriage bolt into the coiled end, put the bolt up first, then slide your spacer up, and pull it back down through. We'll remove our fish wire carefully again, and we're going to repeat those same steps on the other side to feed in the hardware over there. We'll now lift our hitch up into position. Lining up the hardware with the holes in your hitch. Being careful not to push the hardware back up into the frame. Once you get one bolt started on each side, the hitch will hold itself in position, making it easier to install the rest of your hardware. We'll now tighten out all of our hardware using a 19 millimeter socket. Now torque all of your hardware to the specifications found in your instructions. You can now put our mufflers back in, slide it through your exhaust hanger at the top, and then just work it back on. And tighten your clamp back down with a 15 millimeter socket. And that completes our installation of Kurtz Class 1 1 and a quarter inch trailer hitch receiver on our 2010 Nissan Altima.